Hello everybody, this is Minty Jo. Welcome to my channel. For those of you that do not know me, I am an American that lives in Venice, Italy. And on this channel, we talk about locks, we talk about faith, we talk about anything positive that's going to help us be the best version of ourselves. Okay, so one of my subscribers asked me if I would do or show my nightly routine. So I would like to do that for you now because it's very late here in Italy. You could probably tell that I am tired, but I think, you know, I want it to be authentic. So I want to go ahead and do it when I am actually getting ready to go to sleep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And this is basically what I do. Sometimes I do it um, not every night, but most nights I try to, to um, moisturize my hair. It's been a long day and you know what? It still feels okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get it ready. So the first thing I'm gonna use today is a combination of castor oil, of water, of course, castor oil and a little bit of tea tree oil and a little bit of almond oil. And I just have this, um, I don't use it every day. I just use it usually when my hair just needs a little bit of, um, you know, extra something extra I put this on it so I'm gonna spray it and I don't spray a lot I just kind of give it a light spritz okay all right there we go all right oh it's so that that uh, tea tree is wonderful it smells good and it makes your hair feel and smell great okay so after I do that I put in a light oil and the light oil I'm going to be using is my almond oil okay just going to use a little bit like this and just kind of run my hands through my hair like that especially near the ends all right another thing that I do which is really really good for your hair is to massage the roots okay don't be afraid and be like, well, I don't want to do that because I don't want to mess up my hair. You don't have to do it every night. My hair is about to be washed soon, um, probably this weekend. So, you know, it feels extra good for me to do this. All right. And it does actually help the hair to grow because the blood is being circulated up there and it helps it completely. All right. So the next thing that I usually do is a step that... I found out some information about I was doing it on my own it's for me to cornrow or braid my hair and I found out and discovered by doing my research that if you tend to have bumps in your hair now let me try to see if I can find one really quickly because um, everyone usually has them okay this is one for sure what this technique does, it helps to smooth out your locks. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to do two cornrows in the back. Now let me just say this to the back. Let me just say this, that I don't do it tight at all. I'm not the best corn cornrower in the world, okay, or braider in the world, but I just do it so I can definitely put it back Tuck it away a little bit, okay? And make sure it's nice and um, moisturized, maintaining the moisture in it, okay? All right, as you can see, there's little parts that are sticking out, but that's okay. And I just go ahead and braid very slowly the back of my hair, the ends of my hair, okay? right so that's one braid and even if there are a couple of hairs that are out it's not a big deal okay then I'm gonna do the other side so I'm just gonna take do a braid a loose braid remember we don't want a lot of tension on the hair but again this helps to smooth out those bumps and that's really really important and the thing that I also like is that you know it elongates your hair it keeps it there for a long time if you like your hair you know straight I tend to wear my hair down a lot and I think I mentioned that in one of my other videos that I do that in order for me to 
just give my hair some freedom that it's not always up in a bun there are times that i do wear it up too and there's there's a reason for that as well but you know most of the time i especially now that the weather is getting warm i usually try to wear my hair um down okay this one is a little bit you can tell i told you my braiding skills are okay they're not perfect all right so trying to braid the ends but leaving a little bit out then what i do is i get a scrunchie okay i'm not a scrunchie i always say that a hair tie and put it on the back of my hair okay not very tight at all because i don't want it to be too tight and there we go there's the back of my hair i'm all ready to go of course must have this some people don't like sleeping in a satin cap if you don't want to sleep in a satin cap, please get a satin pillowcase because it's important to protect your hair from lint, etc., etc. So I have my satin cap on. And actually I grew up putting on something, putting something on our on my head most of the nights, okay, even when we were kids. So I don't have a problem with it at all. And this is actually um, what helps me keep my ends, my um, roots, excuse me, um, flat is when I put this piece of material on it. Okay, and so this is my night routine. Turn to the back so you can see. It's not too tight, it's very comfortable, even though my hair is put together in the back, you know, with this, with the little uh, head to hair tie, it's not a problem at all. So this is my nightly routine. Like I said, I use a combination of tea tree and castor oil, or sometimes I just use some water and I use a light oil. And I don't saturate my hair where it's really, really um, wet because you have to be careful of mildew. You have to be careful that, you know, your hair doesn't become too wet. So these things are important to know as well. All right, this is Minty Joe. I hope that you have had a good day and please subscribe to my channel. Please also leave a comment. Love to hear from you. If you have any hacks or ideas that can help us all, please share them in the comment section. Thank you so much. It is late here and I'm going to have to say to you, Buonanotte. Bye.